So the bow stroke in, this, in these triplets is a kind of martellato. Use bow speed rather than pressing into the string for every single note. So let's go back to the beginning. This is actually my second time playing Elgar's introduction in Allegro. I first played it a few summers ago at a chamber music festival, but I was in the orchestra. It's a real joy now to be playing the string quartet part, especially with these amazing colleagues of mine. The richness and the lightness are, are just incredible. And I'm quickly falling in love with it. It's an absolutely gorgeous work. What I've been really thinking about in my preparation is understanding uh, my role as it relates to the quartet and as it relates to the orchestra. And so there are moments when we really are part of the greater force of the orchestra. And then there are moments when we sort of break away and we have our own voice as the four of us. And the combination of these two ensembles is such an interesting phenomenon that we really rarely see. Getting to play this with an orchestra of our peers, who many of whom we've played chamber music with independently, have relationships with, is a really special thing. The opportunity that that provides, kind of blurring the lines between solo and chamber and orchestra is just a phenomenal experience. We miss our audience so much. A lot of us have been doing recording projects and just the knowledge that it will have that immediate relay brings a sense of excitement that is harder to get when we're just recording. And there's something about the immediacy of playing live, even if we're not able to be in person yet. It brings me so much joy to think that there will actually be people experiencing this music at the same time as we're creating it. So I'm incredibly excited that this is going to be live streamed. Well done.